It is um, April 17th, 2010, and I just want to show you um, some damage that occurred on a few of my uh, California imported Trachycarpus Fortunae palms after the extended deep freeze of December 2008. So there's two palms side by side, and this is the way it usually works. Some palms are a little bit wimpier than others. California imports are usually a lot wimpier than the locally grown ones. So there's a Trachycarpus Fortunae. This one beside it used to look exactly like it. After the freeze, the crown was damaged and it wasn't showing any signs of growth. So what I did, I cut it and I start cutting the palm until I come down to green growth inside. That's, I took off a little bit more than that. I took off that chunk there and I took off, that was the top part there. I suspect this palm probably would have started growing but it would have taken a lot longer. But by chopping it, by cutting it with a nice sharp saw, you'll uh, force some of the new growth out so you can see it coming up now. There's new growth coming on that one. Okay, so eventually it's going to look like that again. See that one wasn't even phased by the cold. Another one here I cut. You can see it coming out right there. And you know what? This one doesn't look that good. I may have to cut it a little bit more. Let's just see. It's kind of looking gunky down in there. See if I can pull that out. Yeah, see that? I'm thinking that this palm is probably, I smell it, it smells a bit fermented. I'm going to cut this one a little bit more. See, look at that. There might not be any life left in this one. That's a wimpy palm that was bought at Costco and somebody gave it to me. California import. And then here's another one down here. I'll go down to the lower part of my garden. And this one seems to be doing particularly well after it's been cut. Down here. So uh, like I say, by cutting them it forces the new growth. This one's actually doing a lot better. So that one I cut as well. And you can see it uh, growing. It's got center spears coming out. I cut about probably that much of trunk off of it. So that's what's left of the trunk and it regrows of the bottom portion of the trunk. There's the new growth coming out and that will probably have uh, several fans on it by late summer. So that's all you have to do if you figure your thing has been winter killed and after several months it's not showing any growth. Center looks kind of rotted out. Start cutting it until you come to live growth and uh, most often Trachycarpus fortuni will start regrowing again. They regenerate new growth. They're one of the toughest ar arborescent palms in the world. So, and remember, locally grown is always better. Here's some of my locally grown ones. The winter doesn't phase on them at all. These are all locally grown here. This is just seed from being seed scattered around. Look at those palms. 2008 was a seven day freeze here. Uh, coldest temperature was minus 7.4 in my lower garden. So that's 18.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So minus 7.4 Celsius is yeah, 18.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So as you can see, my locally grown palms were not phased. Even my seedlings are not phased. See, these are seedling self-seeded palms that come off the mother plant up there. They're tough as nails.